Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's look, I'm bringing you this monochromatic type of thing. This red monochromatic look. So, this video, I did it kind of differently from my last video. Have you see my last video? I started off by doing one side of my makeup. So this side is completely done of my eye makeup and my eyebrows are on. So now I'm going to show you guys how I got this. We're going to transfer it to this eye. And I hope you guys enjoy. Okay guys, so if anything, I'm just going to like lean forward like this. But we're just going to start off this eye look. So to start off, we're going to use the same eyeshadow base that I used in my last video. If you've seen it, this is the NYX eyeshadow base in the shade white. This is what it looks like. It's just a white base. And it sticks on pretty, pretty good. A flat top brush. These black brushes with the golden top I got from Amazon. They actually are pretty good. This is what it looks like. Basically, we're just going to prime our eyelids with this. I really enjoy this primer. I recommend it. It is from the drugstore. So it is affordable and it works pretty decently. So you're going to apply the primer base in the front and then towards the back. Now we're going to go ahead and apply the color Flash Act. This is a Real Techniques brush. It's just a clean, fluffy brush. It looks like this. We're going to use the color Flash Act from the James Charles Morphe palette. We're just going to use this white shade from the Morphe palette to set our entire eyelid down. So like I said, we're going to set our entire eyelid with this fluffy brush and just set your eyelid in place. Look is pretty simple, pretty straightforward, so I hope you guys don't get so lost and I do a good job at explaining exactly what you have to do. Flat top brush, this is from the Wet n Wild collection, it doesn't say a name, but it just looks like this. It's flat top, and you're going to use the colors, the color Cold James and 10% off for the crease color. This is kind of as a base. So you're just going to take those two colors on the brush and basically you want to tilt your head back and blend that right into the crease of your eye so where you know where the crease of your eye is is if you tilt your head towards the front your eye has a natural crease you're going to go ahead and blend that in there using windshield wiping motions and holding the brush at an angle you're going to want to focus this color right more on your crease towards the end part and on your lid not so much on your brow bone going to be blending the color outward so don't don't be scared if you get really messy with this color and if you want optionally you can apply tape and then you can get a more sharper line rather than have to clean it at the end personally I prefer just to just clean at the end but you can do whatever you want so now this color is all blended in you're going to take the next brush, and it's just this fluffy brush also in, from the Wet n Wild collection. It's more type of a blending brush, and you are going to take the colors. Morphe James Palette collection, you're going to take the colors You're Kidding, which is this red tone color, and Rusted. You're going to blend these two together. In those two colors blended together, you are going to focus this, patting this on the outside of your eye. Dabbing motions on the outside and dabbing it on the inner tear duct area. Again, using windshield wiping motions to blend this in. With this color, you're going to do circular motions upward to get that color to start blending in. So now you're going to take the color Rusted, which is the top color from your kidding, with the same brush. You're going to focus that color on the outside of your eye, again using dabbing motions. Then you're going to take the color you're kidding with the same brush. Again, pat that color on the outside of your eye and the inside of your eye. clean blending brush and you're going to blend the top of the eye. I'm going to take another flat top brush 
any brush you want basically I'm just gonna, preferably gonna use a flat top brush like this and you're gonna take the color spooky which is the black color in the palette a bit on the brush just a tiny tiny bit and you're gonna focus this on the outer edge of your eye using dabbing motions and you're gonna blend in that color once you get the color like this don't put any more black and we're going to go back with the color, with the brush that we were using the red colors with and blend that in. Now that the black is all blended in, you're going to take the color you're kidding, which is the red color, and blend that more into, your, into the outer edge of your eye and the inner part. So now that the color of your eye is done, we're gonna move on to the next step. You can apply as much red as you want to deepen the color or to apply less to make it less red. That is definitely optional. You can do it if you want or you do it, it's up to you. You're gonna be doing winged eyeliner. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Liquid Eyeliner. It just looks like this. Basically, you're just going to do, either you can do a simple line or you can do a winged out line. If you guys are interested in seeing a video on how I do my winged eyeliner, be sure to comment down below and I'll be more than glad to do it for you guys. For lashes, which is the fun part, when really basically brings your whole entire eye lip together. We're going to use the Kiss Natural, Lash, Kiss, Kiss Natural Lash Lashes in the style Herb, Urbanite. It look, they look like this. Lash we're going to use the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive. It looks like this. But if you guys want to see an updated version of easiest way to put on lashes, then comment down below. So on the lash, we're just going to wait a couple seconds, let that dry and get tacky, and then we're just going to apply the lash. For a primer, we're using the Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. Apply a little bit where I mostly get oily, which is my T-zone. I'm going to apply concealer now. For concealer, I am using the Maybelline New York Fit Me Concealer in the shade 20 Sand. This is what it looks like. We're going to go ahead and apply this anywhere where I have some problematic areas and under my eyes. Using the color Shook, which is this color right here. Using that color Shook, I forgot this, but we're basically just going to put that right in the middle of my eye. To cream contour, we're going to use this Wet n Wild Makeup Stick. This is in the color Where's Walnut. So it just looks like this. And we're going to go ahead and cream contour with this. Basically, we're going to put this right here. Right here, a bit on my forehead, on my jawline, and we're going to go ahead and blend. Using that same Real Technique sponge. Foundation using the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made in the shade T30. We're not gonna apply a lot. I'm kind of shooting for a simple type of bare face look. You can put as much as you want, obviously. We're just gonna go ahead and put a little tiny bit because I kind of want my skin to show through it. And a little bit on my forehead. I don't really apply that much on my forehead because my forehead is darker than my actual face. So there's that, but we're going to go ahead and apply this. We're going to use the Revlon Photo Ready Powder. This is in the shade 020 Light Medium using a Real Techniques Fluffy Brush. We're going to go ahead and set everything down. We're just going to set, blend in my under eyes first and then set that first. Same to the next eye.
not just the rest of your face. Use this Physician, Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade Light Bronzer. It just looks like this, and it smells so good. We're going to go ahead and apply this exactly where we applied the contour, using this Real Techniques brush. The Edge Cosmetics Nude Rose Sculpt in Glow Palette, and we're going to use this shade right here. Go ahead and grab this brush, which kind of looks at an angle, and we're going to get your kidding and brush it and drag that all over my lower lash line. Now we're going to go ahead and apply lipstick. So for lipstick, we're using the Sweat n Wild Liquid Catsuit in the shade Missy and Fierce. And for lip liner, we're going to use another Wet n Wild. This is the in the shade Berry Red. So we're going to go ahead and line our lips and apply lipstick. We have reached the end of this look or whatever. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and I hope you guys stick around for my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed watching me do my makeup. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe to see more content from me. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.